Hi there, it is Heather. And if you are experiencing chest pain because of your anxiety, you are not alone. That symptom is extremely common. It's so common, in fact, that there was a 2018 study that found that 80% of patients who went to the emergency room in the United States for a cardiopulmonary emergency, meaning something with their chest or their lungs, did not actually have a true medical emergency. It was thought that anxiety was the reason that they were experiencing that chest pain. So it's so common that you should know that while you are experiencing it, it is most likely your stress hormones, either cortisol or perhaps your adrenaline, that is making you have that sensation. So basically you've gotten into a flight or fight response. And so your body is just really constricted from the hormones that are just basically rushing through your bloodstream, you're having that compression in your chest as a response. So what are you supposed to do about it? Well, this can sound a little bit crazy, but it is actually your body trying to talk to you and help you out. It's trying to tell you, hey, you're not doing well. Your stress response is through the roof. We're going to give you a signal of that by letting you know through your chest pain so that you can do something about it. So if you can reframe in your mind that chest response, instead of seeing it as bad and seeing it as your body trying to help you, that is the first step to easing that sensation and not having it happen as frequently. So when you can acknowledge that the chest pain is just there to try and help you, then the next step is to try and work through it until your stress response comes down and the chest pain eases. So there are a couple of ways to do that. Uh, I have two different videos. One is called feet on the floor technique and then another one is a tapping technique. So you can go and watch those. But one of the first things that you can do when you're experiencing the chest pain is instead of try to push it away, to actually breathe through it. So you're telling yourself, okay, my body's just talking to me. It's just letting me know I'm having a stress response. And then just take really deep breaths and say, oh, I'm relaxing through this chest pain. It's great to feel your feet on the floor while you're doing this, which will help bring you into what's called present moment awareness, where your mind isn't in the past and it's not going into the future, where you're in the here and now in this moment. So you just continue to feel your feet on the floor and breathe through the sensation and thank your body. Say, thank you so much body for letting me know I'm having a stress response. And just keep thanking your body as you take really deep breaths in and out and imagine that your entire chest can just soften up. So you're imagining it getting sort of squishy. And you can even say something to yourself like that, like, I'm allowing the stress to release. I'm going to let my chest get soft. I'm going to let my chest get squishy. And the word squishy is pretty funny, right? So that helps bring a little bit of lightness to the situation. If you could use sort of a funny word to describe it, something that's humorous to you. And then you just keep breathing through the sensation and it most likely will pass actually pretty quickly, okay? It's not gonna keep lasting for five or 10 minutes. If you keep with the deep breathing, letting yourself know that it's just a stress response, continuing to thank your body and continuing to imagine all of your chest softening up. It will pass much quicker than you think it's going to. So I hope that this was useful to you, letting you know that you're not alone and that it's actually extremely common. I would love for you to try the technique that I just mentioned, and then you can give me a comment in the comment section below, letting me know if that worked for you. And of course, like and subscribe for a lot of great tips and techniques and content all about anxiety. Thank you.